Now then, how are we all doing? So today's little video is in polarizing a dynamo. This obviously applies to any vintage tractor with a dynamo. So if you've got a Grey Fergie or a John Deere or any, it's the uh, same principle. Just have to polarize uh, the dynamo. Now for those of you that know, I've been restoring my Moss Ferguson 65. So I've just come to doing the wiring. I fully overhauled the dynamo, so it needed polarizing. So as most of you know, you need a separate regulator with a dynamo, which is hidden just under on a mass Ferguson. So firstly, we have to establish which wires does what. So this one is the bigger one. That one goes back to your battery, and this is your field. So this is what makes your uh, your dynamo work. This is where the wire that we're needing today. So we've got us two wires off. We've got us battery connected. I'm gonna take a wire from the negative side of the battery. So I've just turned the light off so hopefully you can see better. So I'm going to connect my wire to the negative side of the battery and then I'm going to go down here with this piece, same piece of wire, go to the field, we should see a blue spark. See that? There's as much as it needs. Now it's polarised. So if we put these wires back on, we should get a reading on this voltmeter now. Simple as that. Simple as that. Got any more questions about it? Just write a comment underneath. That's it really, pretty much for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you like we do these little videos, hit the subscribe. Thanks again, people.